Hi there, it's Miriam with Engadget, and I'm here with Jane McFarlane, who's the head of research at Nokia here. So Jane, take it away, you want to show us something really cool on this incredible visualization screen here. Certainly. So this is an example of our probe data that we source to make our traffic product. And what you'll see here, on the right bottom side, you'll see the time of day. And um, you'll see the city of, uh, of the, the Bay Area waking up and starting their day. It's 11.30. You can see the Bay Bridge is still very, very busy. The dock in Oakland's very busy. Downtown San Francisco, very busy. This gives us the information we need to build traffic products, but it also gives us a lot of information about how the road network is experienced during the day. All right, so what we have here is an example of how we're using CANVAS information to understand how people experience the road network. Here you see uh, CANVAS data of vehicles coming into this sharp curve in the city of Eindhoven at various speeds. As they enter that curve, they'll have very different behaviors based on their speed. So this is uh, the actual speed limit of the road, which is 50 to 60 kilometers per hour. What you see in the pink dots are the first point of brake application as the vehicles come down that straightaway. You can see at the bottom there's a fellow that braked at the very last <laughs> minute and we suspect he ended up in a tree or something, but that's why we use the centroid of the information where we're building up the wisdom of crowds for driving, basically. Right. How people experience the road network uh, personally. So you can see different braking points based on speed. This is our ADAS line that shows the curvature of the road. The red porcupines are the curvature itself. So you see the S curve and the straightaway. Uh -huh. Different dynamics coming into that curve. What you see here is, the, again, that first point of brake application based yeah. on speed. And what you see here, which is really interesting, is this is a northbound um, trajectory you see the people braking as they come into the speed and then accelerating out. That's what the, these uh, horizontal lines, vertical lines are. Here you see the curvature of the road itself. Right. And the green porcupines are the lateral acceleration, which is basically the, the g-force you feel as you go through the curve. What's interesting about this is that this is kind of a constant value as you go through that curve, which means there's kind of a human aspect of slowing down and there's a comfortable g-force that we like to slow down to as we go through that curve. As we go to the southbound version, here again you see the deceleration acceleration out. This is a different lateral acceleration. So we're seeing different situational uh, differences as people are experiencing this curve. And what's really exciting is then you can start looking at windshield wipers on that CAN bus and find a different situation, which is rain. And so they, uh, they experience that curve differently. You can put snow, ice, night, day, all kinds of things onto our map and build up situational experiences on our map. So tell us a little bit how you get that data right now. So right now, this was a special study in the Netherlands that we were using for this. But we think in the future, this could really help us uh, improve safety on the roads. Of course. And the San Francisco data, which was really interesting, you know, it was really showing the big arteries of the city and the freeways, etc., in terms of speed. You gathered this using smartphones as well, correct? S um, smartphones, personal navigation devices, fleet, um, uh, different fleets across the city, various kinds of devices, because they all bring a different aspect to the dynamics of the city. Great. Thank you so much for your time, Jane. You're welcome.